Hey there and welcome, this is Nick from Income Digs with a video tutorial for you all about how we can bring our virtual assistant on board to our team using Asana. So if you have seen any of our other videos or if you've seen the course that we have out called Super VA, you know that having a task management system of some sort is absolutely essential to being successful with a virtual assistant. And in my opinion, Asana, well, it's not necessarily the most robust, best thing ever. It is definitely, in my opinion, the lower barrier to entry and a really great place to start managing your own tasks and delegating to your virtual assistant. So in this video, I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna do an introduction to how we can use Asana for our virtual assistant. We'll have follow-up videos that get into some further details as well. I just wanna introduce you to the platform and start talking through some general concepts that will surely be successful for you and your business. So come on with me into Asana here. I have pretty much an empty setup that we're just getting started with. And right now I'm gonna demonstrate in just the free version. So there's some amazing features that are available in premium and above, but right now, just gonna do it all in the free version, that way everything I do, you'll be able to do with, with your own free trial as well. So what we wanna do with any kind of task management is we wanna align ourselves and our team, in this case yourself and your virtual assistant, on one place, one uh, source of truth for the tasks that we're gonna work on within a given day, week, month, and even year. Okay, so um, you can use this and you should use this for yourself as well, you know, kind of all in one place, but certainly to delegate. So. Task management, really simple. I'm just gonna add a task here. I'm just gonna add a task here to like reconcile bank accounts in QBO. Okay, so I'm adding that task quickly. I'm adding it quickly just by um, putting it into my recently assigned. And then if I click on it, I, I have all the details here. And so I'm going to suggest to you that you always use due dates. Even if you need to push them out, a due date helps to understand where things should land. You can even then use the calendar if need be. So I'm gonna set this as a, as a due date of today. Um, we'll talk about projects in a second. Description is where you can indicate um, you know, all accounts, all right? So this is just one simple task and it's on my list, great, okay. Um, send invoices to tenants. So let's say that I have tenants and I need to invoice them for monthly rent. Uh, maybe that's something that I do as well. I can click this to get over to my details. Now right now I'm assigning it to myself but we'll show you in a second how we can start delegating. Okay, so what I would encourage you to do, whether you have a VA or not, start by just adding all the tasks that your business needs to do, whether you do them or you intend to have your VA do them, plot them out and then to start to categorize them. And so when I say start to categorize them, I mean to either assign them to projects or probably a lighter way, way to get started would be to use tags, okay? So if I add a tag, I can add a tag like QBO, which would be QuickBooks Online. Okay, so I'm gonna create a tag for QBO and I'm gonna color it like that. Excellent, so there's my tag. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna go add tag and you can do a shortcut for that as well. Now, why isn't my QBO tag showing up there? That's interesting to me. Let's just see, that should be there. Tag should create and stay there. Interesting, okay, well, that's not happening right now, but um, regardless, that's one of the details you can do. The other thing that I'll encourage you to do is thinking about due dates is start to assign recurring due dates to tasks, okay? So this send invoice to tenants, we can do it today and we can also set it to repeat every month on the first day of the month. And that sounds good, right? Okay, so that's set to repeat, perfect. Okay, and so we're starting to build out the various processes that make up our business, and we can do that uh, by using that recurring, all right? I was gonna add, um, okay, so um, also, so these, are, these start to fall as recently assigned, and if we refresh our list here, we can then click and drag these on when we want to work on these. So if I wanna work on something today or next week, I can drag these. They're gonna fall on recently assigned to start. Now we also have the potential to use projects. So projects are a neat little way to either 
have a really specific project that you're managing. So a construction project, a, um, you know, hiring a new person, maybe even hiring a VA, or you can even set up templates. So what we start to do here is with tenant onboarding, we can start to establish the various tasks that live in this project. And then if we're using premium, we can use templates. We won't get into that in this case, but let's go back to my tasks and let's start talking about delegating. Okay. So if I go to the details of any task and you saw when I assigned initially, I assigned it to myself, I can potentially assign to my virtual assistant. In this case, I'm going to use a service at IncomeDigs.com as my virtual assistant. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now notice that that falls off of my task list. Okay. So that's no longer there because the view that I'm looking at is only my task list. All right. So that is gone. So where do we see the tasks assigned to our assistant? We can click on their icon here and we can see the tasks that are assigned to them. And even from this, um, portal here, I can assign a new task. Okay. So for example, maybe I want to do prep, sales proposal. Okay. Assigned to that individual. If I want to put it on a project, I can, I'm not going to do that at this time. Uh, and let's set a due date. Let's say that it's due on Friday and we'll create that task. Okay. And so now that shows up there. Now a key to assigning tasks to your virtual assistant is to start organizing by the type of work they're doing. So that would be like the QBO tag, right? And then this one could potentially be something like sales. Okay. So we start, we can organize by the type of work they're doing. And the second and potentially most important thing is that we want to start building up these recurring task templates. We want to add some instruction to them on how to complete that task. And here is an amazing little hack that Asana has added, which is we can create a video demonstration to show exactly how to perform the task. Okay. Now we used to have to use a service called loom for this, which still works great, but we could instead built right in here. We have the ability to record a video. So I'm going to click that and show you what I mean. So when I click to record a video, I'm going to tell Asana, yes, I would like to record a video. I want my screen, uh, on there. I don't want the camera on, no need to put my face on there. It's got the microphone. You can see it's already hearing me talk and I'm going to start recording. It's asking me, what do you want to record? I'm just going to record uh, the entire screen here. I'll click share and we are currently recording. So I'm recording how to do a task. So you can demonstrate within QuickBooks online or whatever you're using. Hey, virtual assistant, this is the task for reconciling the bank accounts. I want you to come into the banking feed here, check last pass for the credentials, log in and for every category here, check against the spreadsheet and make sure we have a receipt and then categorize this to repairs and maintenance or whatever else you need to do. Make sure you attach the receipt here, click add and you should be all set. All right. And when you're done with that, you can hit stop recording and the service is going to automatically render it, optimize it. And then when I click add video, it's going to show up in the task so that the virtual assistant can see the demo and understand exactly how to do this. Now, what you should be doing then is using this to templatize the business. And we're going to talk about that in the next video as well as we can establish these standard operating procedures for all of the tasks that we do. And your assistant will be able to easily reference the how to videos. So oftentimes when we are starting to work with a VA, we're overwhelmed by the idea of training. And what I'm going to encourage you to do is start with your own task list, the list of tasks that you perform and just start one by one assigning them and record. You saw how short that was, you know, it's probably gonna be a little longer, but one, two minute videos at most to demonstrate exactly how to do those tasks. And that will start to build up a library for your assistant to understand how to do those tasks. Okay. So you can see Asana is a super lightweight, really easy tool to assign tasks, to manage tasks, and to understand what you've assigned to your team. In this case, my virtual assistant, we're going to continue on with some additional videos on this to dive in. There's so many different features that we're going to show. So I wanted to just give an intro here on this lesson, and then uh, we'll go a little bit deeper and we'll eventually even get into the upgraded uh, Asana, which gives you start dates and timelines and a lot of really powerful tools that can help you in your business. All right. So leave questions. 
on this video, leave uh, any comments or things that you'd like to see. Remember that we have additional videos that are either coming or that are already linked in the description. So if you have a question, it might be answered there as well. So we will have many in this series, all right? Any specific questions, leave them on the comments or you can always find us at IncomeDigs.com. Also check out our end-to-end -end course called Super VA, how to hire and train a virtual assistant to superpower your business. I'll see you in the next video.